Today I'm going to be walking between two of the best known and most intriguing prehistoric landmarks anywhere in West Sussex. I haven't visited either of them for donkey's years and to be honest I'm really looking forward to seeing them now and as we come to the crest of this hill I think yeah there it is Chanctonbury standing out like a beacon on the northern edge of the Downs. These two Iron Age hill forts were once surrounded by visible traces of their fieldscapes. But ploughing since the Second World War has all but erased those surface remains. On our journey between the two hill forts, we'll be looking at the long running struggle between archaeologist and farmer. Now, both Chanctonbury Ring and Sisbury are Iron Age hill forts, as you perhaps could have guessed from that, that berry element of the place name. Burr, meaning uh, a fortification in Anglo-Saxon. So they're built at some point between about 1000 and 500 BC. But what makes both Chanctonbury and Sisbury exciting is that they have much longer and very complex histories that go well beyond the Iron Age. So here we are at the, at the Ordnance Survey triangulation pillar, marked on the map by that neat little blue triangle there. It's not quite on the highest point of the ridge, that's occupied by the hill fort over there, but even so you can see why the Ordnance Survey picked this particular spot for their surveying station. It's a, it's a magnificent view, huge view, looking all the way northwards across the Weald. It's a fantastic place to put a monument at any point in history. Come on, Basil. Between the Trig Pillar and the Hill Fort, we cross a territorial boundary marked by a bank and ditch, built in the late Bronze Age and later modified in the Roman period. We also pass a tumulus, or early Bronze Age burial mound. The low bank surrounding the hill fort was once a much more impressive barrier, a solid wall of chalk fronted by a timber palisade. I remember the last time I was up here at Chanctonbury Ring really, really clearly. It was the summer of 1987. I was just coming towards the end of my gap year before going to university. And I brought some Australian friends up here, expecting to impress them with this fantastic prehistoric monument and this amazing panorama. But what really caught my friend's imagination that day was in fact this magical ring of trees, planted only 250 years ago by a local lad by the name of Charles Goring when he was 16. Then, on the 16th of October 1987, only a few weeks after my visit with the Australians, the hurricane struck. Big uh, landscape that we know had very much changed, so we all came up here to have a look, and my family were involved with helping clear some of the trees in the area as well, so just shock really, and so lovely to see it coming back together again as it is now, yeah. But the extraordinary thing is, that the 18th century tree ring wasn't the first monument to be added to this already important prehistoric landmark. In fact, recent excavations have shown that during the Roman period, not one but two temples were built on the hilltop here, presumably to commemorate in some way the special quality that that long abandoned hill fort created. Oh. Ah. For a moment, I thought that was the, the jaw of a little wild boar piglet. I think it's just a badger, but the, the recent excavations up here actually showed that there was a cult relating to wild boar on this hilltop. There's this extraordinary string of beads, like a, like a necklace across the, the ridge here. These 
circular mounds, low circular mounds. They're obviously burial mounds. One there, one there, little one there, big one here, another one there. They've all got a little hollow in the centre. Now, these things are down in the archaeological record for these parts as, as Bronze Age burial monuments. But to my eye, they look nothing like that. They look much more like Anglo-Saxon burial mounds. There are plenty of those around here. And I begin to wonder if, if what we're looking at is a manifestation of the continued religious importance of this hilltop.